What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> Sal from DA Space 1717 Natural Bodybuilding Channel. Today's topic is um, <clears throat> do you have to have a degree, uh, some type of certification in training or nutrition to get um, good results? Pretty good results, you know, bodybuilding type results. Uh, my opinion on that is no. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, um, I would say it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt, but me personally, I don't have I don't have a uh, special certification. I have a online a cheap ass knockoff certification. Um, I had gotten when I was personal training at the gym that I'm going to <clears throat> back in the day. Uh, I had got it just to you know get the basics down, and uh, it's it's not accredited. It w it wasn't an accredited uh, certification, but you know, it's it was good enough. It had the right information, and then you got a lot of resources like YouTube, uh, the internet in general, uh, Facebook. You know, all these all these different things. You could find communities, and you got bodybuilding.com. Um, you got natural channels, then you got professional. You know, the, the guys that are on, you know, uh, <clears throat> enhanced supplements and stuff like that. Depending on what your your goal is, but uh, the main thing is to do research and be a really good observer um, because you're gonna have to you're gonna have to have a nose for good information bad information and everything in between which is gonna pretty much be from your experience um, because I see a lot of channels and a lot of guys flaunting their degrees and their certifications and um, you know I mean there ain't nothing wrong with that. that that's that's the way to do it if you're gonna if you're really in in it for the long haul, um, me personally, I'm I'm gonna get my own certification soon. I got a new computer and I'm gonna take online online uh, you know classes and stuff like that because I feel like you know what I've been doing this long enough. I think um, you know it's time to learn anatomy. It's time to learn um, uh, you know master get master certifications for uh, personal training and stuff like that and nutrition and. Uh, you know, I mean, schooling is good, but don't count out growth science, you know, <clears throat> especially when it comes to this this um, journey or this lifestyle of lifting weights, because it's it's both. You got to have you got to have both hands on experience and um, and and uh, some sort of uh, textbook experience, you know, to get to, to maximize everything into your plan or, or, or get you know, get the shit done the way you want to do it. And be more professional at the end of the day. You know, you, people will take you more seriously. Uh, but don't count out, you know, don't feel like if you're average Joe and you don't plan on having a channel, you don't need to have a certification. You, you know, even if you have a channel, I have a damn channel. I'm an average Joe. I put myself with the rest of the recreational people and um, I'm probably a little bit higher than a recreational person. I, I, I commit myself to doing this, so. I will put myself up there, you know, I, I think I'm worthy of being able to teach and give my experience and my opinions on some of these things in this um, community. Um, but at the end of the day, you don't, you don't need a school certification or a school diploma, you know, because you, all the resources are out there for free, got all these great channels on YouTube. Uh, sharing their experiences, their feelings, their 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 ideas, their their workouts, and you got more than enough information to um, to get awesome gains and awesome results. You know, uh, that's that's pretty much how I uh, started out. I was just watching channels. I got a good nose of who's giving good good information, um, and and also another thing is uh, like. Depending on your goals, you need to uh, to look look at somebody who is doing who who had who I guess would would have the not the results you want, but you know if 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 for one if if you're training and you're you want to be natural and you're watching a guy that is a professional bodybuilder, that's that in my opinion that's the wrong way to go. You know if you're gonna stay natural for your whole career or your whole uh, workout lifestyle. You shouldn't really look up to somebody who's doing 
uh, pro hormones or HGH or steroids, you should um, you know, stick to somebody who's more natural and and talks about because it's a, your metabolism is different. Your 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 uh, I mean, you're obviously not going to be as strong as the guys using those things. But um, you know, just do it smart. Observe. Be the main thing you're going to need to to get good results is just be a great observer. Just watch people in your gym. See see what people are doing in your gym. See what people are doing on YouTube. See uh, look up stuff on the internet. Um, internet has good information and bad information. That's why I say you gotta have a nose for it. You gotta uh, and I mean th there's 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 good information all over the place. There's certified people on on uh, ha that have channels. I mean more than half of the channels are from certified personal trainers, guys that done train professional people. And uh, all that. So I mean, you got you got all this information at your fingertips. And uh, if you're able to watch YouTube, that means you're able to look up all this information. So you know, uh, stay motivated, keep it real, and keep it natural. That's the end of this video. Like it, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll see you next time.